vehicle about to be stopped in Lake Pool Road over. Uh, hasn't stopped yet. Uh, the moment counter-terrorism police moved in to arrest the ringleaders of a plot to commit mass murder. A series of bomb blasts which the authorities believe would have eclipsed the 7-7 attacks in London. Ashik Ali, Irfan Khalid and Irfan Nasir had planned to detonate at least eight bombs. Nasir, known as Big Irfan, and Khalid, nicknamed Little Irfan, both spent 15 months in terror training camps in Pakistan. They shared their training with Ali, who provided a safe house for their meetings. Police and the security services secretly recorded their conversations. While no specific locations were discussed, investigators believe they were intent on achieving the maximum number of casualties. They planned on planting a lot of bombs, uh, some suicide bombs, where they were looking to, to kill and maim uh, lots and lots of people. They were out to cause some, some really serious harm. They've been interrupted at a very early stage and we're a lot uh, safer as a result. Prosecutors say the plotters were inspired by Al-Qaeda and criticised the 7-7 London bombers for not putting nails and other shrapnel in their devices. In Ali's council flat in Birmingham's Balsall Heath, they experimented with making explosives. Nasir, a trained chemist, wrote instructions. The men had raised more than £13,000 by pretending to collect for Muslim aid. It's an act which has appalled many in this close community who knew and trusted individuals like Irfan Khalid. I remember him to be a calm, mild-mannered, respectful young man. He never caused us any issue whatsoever. But to then see him in the newspapers and just charges that, that, are, that are made against him, I mean, it's just shocking. I spoke to a number of local community members about this issue and they do feel betrayed. They feel taken advantage of, they've given money for charitable reasons and it's been used for something other than what they expected it to be used for. So people are very upset, they're incensed. As well as suicide bombers, the plotters talked of using assault rifles and even poisons to kill as many innocent people as possible.